Tonight, we're following the tragic investigation out of DeKalb County after 15-year-old Gracie Sasso Cleveland was murdered. Yeah, this incident has rocked the DeKalb community to its core, and many close friends have spoken out about what type of person Gracie was. Now her family is speaking out. Before we hear from her family, let's look at what we know so far about this incident. The DeKalb County Police Department was aware that Sasso Cleveland had been missing since last Thursday. Phone records show she had been at a home located at 536 College Avenue that day. She was then found dead in a dumpster Sunday afternoon near that same property. We've been making efforts to speak to those who knew the victim closely. Yeah, 13 WREX's Destin Howard spoke one-on-one -on -one with members of Gracie's family today. Destin, still a lot to process for the family. What did they have to say? Yeah, Brittany, Gracie Sasso Cleveland was a 15-year-old girl lost too soon. Her family says she was one of the kindest people you'd ever meet. I spoke to her mother and older sister today about the moments after she went missing and how they want the community to remember her. Like I, I knew something happened to her because she would never go that long without talking to me or being at work or with her dad. That was the voice of Erica Sasso, mother of Gracie Sasso Cleveland. After days of searching for the DeKalb teenager and later finding her body, her mother now wants the community to remember her for her heart and not her death. He was a beautiful person on the inside and out. I tell her all the time, you're the best person I've ever known. Her love for everything from animals to people. She loved people, everything so hard. Erica recapped the moments leading up to finding her daughter. I had gone there on Sunday morning. Um, and looked for her like outside, like in bushes and things. And I want to make sure that I stayed there until the garbage man came because I just felt like there was something in the garbage that they needed. You know, I never thought it was her, but. Heaven Garcia says she was crushed after learning that her little sister's life was stolen. I was scared I was going to die from a broken heart because that was my baby sister. And he did that and that wasn't right. Gracie's alleged killer has been arrested at this time. However, her mother wishes she would have done more to prevent this tragedy from happening. All I had to do was Google his name. It would have taken me two seconds. I just didn't think to do it, but it makes me sick now. All I had to do was Google his name, and I would have seen who he was. I will never forgive myself, so any mother out there, find out who your kids are around, Google them, anything it takes. A GoFundMe has also been organized to help the family with funeral travel expenses and potentially creating a memorial in Gracie's memory. Uh, more information on that tonight on WREX.com.